Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Now we are going to solve one Python program. So write a function called met that takes two already sorted lists of possibly different lengths and merge them into a single list. So that means, so they are given two lists. For example, 6, 9, 12, 3, 56, 78 and 92. So two lists are already sorted. So we are giving input like this. So that means we are going to give the sorted list as an input. And possibly different lengths. So this is the length 3, this is the length 4. And merge them into a single list. We can merge them into a single sorted list. So we are going to do this in two ways. One is do this using sort method. Do this using without using the sort method. We can see both the ways. A equals to list of map of int of input. That means here we are going to enter 6, 9, 12. So that is A. First list. In the similar way the list B is 3, 56, 78, 92. So that belongs to B. Next print combined sorted list. Merge of A comma B. So A is 6, 9, 12 list. So B is 3, 56, 78 and 92 list. So this is possible. So this is the merge function. So first A. Do this using sort method. So DEF merge S1 comma S2. That means S1 equals to 6, 9, 12. S2 equals to 3, 56, 78, 92. So now S equals to S1 plus S2. That means S 6, 9, 12, 3, 56, 78, 92. That's it. So after S dot sort. That means now the S equals to 3, 6, 9, 12, 56, 78, 92. That's it. So return yes. This is the sorted list. And we print here. What is the output? 3, 6, 9, 12, 56, 78, 92. So this is the first method. Now the second method is do this using without using the sort method. The function called merge a comma b means so l1 equals to 6, 9, 12, l2 equals to 3, 56, 78, 92. How we can do that? So simply we can start from here. 6, 9, 12, 3, 56, 78, 92. We have taken one empty list. In this list, I am going to store the smallest value. I start from here. Now, the 6 is compared with the numbers in the list 2. We don't compare with the list 1. Why? Because already it is in sorted. So, 6 compared with 3. So, 3 is smaller. So, I can store 3. So next onwards, I compare 6 with 56. 6 is smaller. We don't check further values. Why? Because all the remaining numbers are higher than 56. So 6 is stored in the list. Next, 9. So 9 is compared with 56. So 9 is the smaller. So that is stored in the list. Next iteration. So 12 is stored with the 56. So 12 is the smaller. So 12 is stored. Now, we reach the end of the list. The remaining values in the L2. So the remaining values are assigned here. 56, 78, 92. So this is the output. For example, you are taking so 3, 56, 78, 92 is the L1. And 6, 9, 12 is the L2. In this case, 3 is compared with the 6. 3 is the smaller, so append 3. Next case, 56 is compared with the 6. 6 is the smaller, so 6 is stored. In next case, 56 is compared with the 9. 9 is the smaller, so 9 we can store in this list. Next, 56 is stored in the 12, so 12 is the smaller, so 12 is stored in this list. So we reach the end of the L2, so the remaining values in the 
list L1 is stored in this list. What is the value? 56, 78, 92. So this is the algorithm we are following. S1 equals to length of L1. What is the length here? 3. S2 equals to length of L2. That means 4. L, I am taking one empty list. I comma j equals to 0. That means the it is first index. So 0 comma 0 means these are the indexes. This is the 0, 1, 2. 0, 1, 2, 3. This is the i, this is the j. Now while i less than s1, what is the i value? 0 less than what is the s1? 3. And what is the j value? 0. Less than what is the S2? 4. So both are true. So enter into this block. If L1 of 5, what is the L1? L1 of 0? 6. Less than L2 of J. L2 of 0? 3. 6 less than 3. It is false. So enter into this else block. L dot append L2 to L2 of 0. What is L2 of 0? 3. 3 is appended. And J is incremented by J plus 1. That means J value now 1. And go to next iteration. J value 1, I value 0. So enter into this block. L1 of 0. That means 6 less than L2 of J. L2 of J means 56. 6 less than 56? True. So enter into this block. L dot append L1 of I. L1 of 0 means 6 is appended. And increment I by 1. That means now I becomes 1. In next iteration, so both are true. Enter into this block. L1 of I less than L2 of 1. That means these two we are comparing. 9 less than 56 it is true so enter into this block l dot append l1 of i what is l1 of i 9 and increment i by 2 that means i value equals to 2 again it is true enter into this block 12 with 56 12 less than 56 it is true so enter into the block l dot append l1 of i that means what is l1 of i 12. L1 of 2, that is a 12. L i equals to i plus 1, 3 less than 3, false. Okay, then we go to here. So what we are going to send? L plus, what is L? 3, 6, 9, 12 plus L1 of i to L. i to N, what is I value? I value is 3. So 3 to means there is no 3. So, this is m to 0. So, this is equivalence to nothing. L2 of j, j value is 1. 1 to remaining. That means 1 to remaining. These are the. So, that means 3, 6, 9, 12 plus 56, 78, 92. So, these two combine and send to this here. Merge of here come out. Now, so this is the output. Eh? What is the output? 3, 6, 9, 12, 56, 78 and 92 is the output. I hope you all understand how we can solve this function by using the sort function and without sort function. So now we see the execution of the program. Here we are going to give the sorted order. So that means I give 6, 8, 9. That is a sorted order. And I give 3, 56, 78, 90. This is also sorted order. Now output is 1689, 56, 78, 90. Now we see another program without using sort method in previous example we use the sort method in this case we don't use any sort method now we see the execution i give list as 
6, 8, 9. Second list as 3, 56, 78, 89. So that is a sorted 3, 6, 8, 9, 56, 78, 89. 